Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a Corbin business is on a crusade to prevent drowning in the Commonwealth by teaching others how to swim. And the governor's race is not the only vote on the ballot today, as Secretary of State position is also up for grabs. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is Tuesday, November 7th, and it is 4.59. Let's go over and check in with Brandon from a few miles away. <laughs> just, just a few. Yeah. Just, just a few. I would rather you be standing here, November. but it'll be here before you know, know. it. I, I hope so, end of January, but yeah. uh, I'm glad to see, well, I guess hear you back this morning. <laughs> Can't see you, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, TV wife's always good to have you back in the, yes. back in the saddle. <laughs> We've made it back together again, TV husband. <laughs> I know, right? All right, let's get into it this morning. We got a lot to talk about now. The clouds have been streaming in overnight, and it's been one of those active scenes, especially on our hazard camera. That is a forest fire right across the street from the station. It was burning a lot better earlier, but you can still see the orange over there uh, across from the station. So again, very active situation. Air quality is taking a hit because of lots of forest fires going on this morning in several counties. Now they're clustered in parts of Harlan and over into parts of Perry counties. Uh, I've, I'm sure there are others out there, but those are the two we've heard the most about the last couple of days. Temperatures are all over the place this morning, and I mean that. 60s in Moorhead, almost 70 in Moorhead, 66 up there, 64 Jackson, 61 hazard 65 in Prestonsburg 64 in Pikeville but you come to the south a little bit you see 48 Manchester 44 Middlesbrough 41 in Jonesville and and 44 just pop back on there in Grundy so it's all over the place this morning so just use your own judgment I can tell you that it's going to be cloudy it's going to be breezy and temperatures are going to climb into the mid 70s this afternoon with a southwest breeze so just be ready for that and be ready in less than an hour to get ready to go cast your ballots if you haven't already Jess Thanks, Brandon. Well, of course, everyone will be keeping an eye on the governor's race, but one big ballot race is for Secretary of State. Incumbent Michael Adams is going head to head with challenger Charles Buddy Wheatley. Both candidates have different ideas on how long they want the window to be for early voting. Adams says he wants to keep the early voting at three days in non-presidential voting years, while Wheatley wants to expand the current election season. I want to protect the three days that we got, uh, the quadrupling of voting days that we got already for Kentuckians. We're still one of the hardest places to vote in the country. We don't have very many early voting days. The average is 23. We have three early voting days. Kentucky is a closed primary state, meaning that the primary elections are limited to those who are registered to party members. And we want to remind you, polls do open today at 6 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. If you are in line at 6 p.m., you will still be allowed to vote. If you do not know where to cast your ballot, you can visit govote.ky.gov to find your polling location. And join us here on WIMT.com tonight beginning at 6 for results as they come in. A well-known hazard attorney and education advocate has died. Bruce Stevens was born in McGoffin County and began working in Hazard in 1950 as an attorney for Kentucky River Coal Corporation. He served there for 36 years, where he was also executive vice president. He had an extensive record of service to Hazard Community and Technical College. His efforts also led to more than $3 million being given to local schools. He served on numerous boards and organizations and was a World War II veteran. His wife, Virginia, died last year. They were married nearly 70 years. Officials say an average of 4,000 drowning deaths occurred each year from 2012 to 2021. Kentucky was above the national average during that time, with one and a half deaths per every 100,000 people. The need to address concerns surrounding drowning led Derek Harmack to create a business in Corbin that teaches people of all ages to swim. Carmack says the swimming lessons are taught year round because it's important families are proactive with teaching their kids how to swim before the busy swimming months. 
So there's definitely a peak time that people enjoy the water and it's in the summer months, but that's also peak drowning time. And so we don't want children to come up to summer and then have to look around and say, well, now I need to learn how to swim, where, how, when, all of that. We want to make sure that we're a presence in the community that anytime you want to learn, we're here for that. Carmack says Cannonball Academy also does competitive technique lessons for those who are on teams and want to train. Kentucky State Police are investigating the death of an inmate at the Bell County Detention Center. Troopers were contacted on Monday by jail staff regarding the death. The name of the inmate has not been released. And one person is dead after a crash in Rowan County. It happened Sunday night just after 8 at the intersection of Kentucky 32 and West Sun Street in Moorhead. After police arrived at the scene, they discovered a motorcycle had hit a car. A man and woman who were riding the motorcycle were seriously injured. After being taken to St. Clair Medical Center in Moorhead, 47-year-old Matthew Corson died. The woman was flown to Cabell Huntington Hospital. Her condition is not known. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, we'll take a look at the challenges facing election officials nationwide and a look at how they're preparing. And the fire danger continues to stay high today with breezy conditions and very dry temperatures and conditions. We'll have the latest forecast and track with our next rain chance is coming in about three minutes.